right hi guys so let's start the next episode of 5 mcqs in 5 minutes and slowly and slowly we have increased our episode and i hope you guys are taking benefit from the previous episodes as well because those are very high yield topic this series is important for nit pg and i serian fmg aspirant let's see what we have as a first question today it's about a 33 year old female who has started on anti thyroid drug carbamazole carbamazole a pro drug of methimazole which is a thyroid peroxidase inhibitor on next visit she uh, reported to physician that she is pregnant the maternal carbamazole intake is commonly associated all the teratogenic effect except commonly associated with all the teratogenic effect except so remember methimazole or carbamazole as a drug they are associated with teratogenic effect that i always ask you to remember by the mnemonic faces faces stand for they can actually be associated with your fetal goiter they can also be associated with your aplasia cutis aplasia cutis they can also be associated with coanal atresia coanal atresia there is a mem- uh, membrane between your uh, nose and nasopharyngeal area they can also be associated with your esophageal atresia and scalp defect this scalp defect is none other than your uh, aplasia cutis ka hi dusra naam hota hai scalp defect they both are same only so sometimes they give you image as well uh, image for the same as well so can they cause coanal atresia yes can they cause cleft lip and palate there is no report of cleft lip and palate of course there are drug that can cause cleft lip and palate any drug that is decreasing you know your folic acid level like anti epileptic drug highly associated with cleft lip and palate like phenytoin fetal goiter and scalp defect yes because they are anti thyroid drug they can lead to fetal goiter as well A patient with colorectal uh, cancer, cancer was started on chemotherapy again. Looking at his blood profile, he was started on fl- filgrastim. So, what is filgrastim? They are the granulocyte stimulant. So, they will increase the granulocyte. Granulocyte like basophil, eosinophil, and neutrophils, right? Ben, Ben is the name only for granulocyte. Basophil, eosinophil, and neutrophil. This agent is used for if you want to increase neutrophil. That means they are definitely having neutropenia. and you will not be using them or if there is already neutrophilia neutrophilia ke liye to isko nahi use karenge na now anemia agar hai to we are going to utilize utilize drugs like your e poitin we are going to utilize drugs like your darbopoitin e poitin and darbopoitin are the agent that we can actually utilize correct answer for this one is none other than your filgrastim filgrastim they are used for the management of the neutropenia chemo induced neutropenia to about gem fibrozil gem fibrozil naam mein fibro word aa raha hai gem fibrozil do remember this gem fibrozil as a drug remember they are one of the fibrate they are one of the fibrate ha huh? clo fibrate biza fibrate gem fibrozil which is one of the ppa r alpha agonist main hamesha bar bar ek word bolta hu yaad kariye alpha and fi fa fi fa fi alpha fa fi fat word ke liye use karte hai na dyslipidemia ke liye why because we have something also called ppar gamma agonist that is drugs like your pioglitazone that is you know pioglitazone coming from the group of uh, thiazolidine dienones right so they are not ppr gamma ppr gamma will be your pioglitazone increasing the risk of bladder cancer that is again going to be pioglitazone these both are actually these both are actually your pioglitazone ppar alpha agonist yes alpha and gamma no alpha and gamma nahi hai na there is a drug that is known as your ppar alpha plus gamma agonist also this ppar alpha and gamma agonist can be drugs like your aliglitazar glitazar uske naam mein aata hai aliglitazar seroglitazar hai na muraglitazar hai na glitazar Mura glitters are they are all PPR alpha plus gamma agonist. Again, remember the correct answer for this fibro fibrates is going to be PPR alpha alpha phi fibrates, है ना? A patient was started on second line tuberculin drug betaguline. So I always used to tell you betaguline. सबसे पहला बात मैं बताता हूँ what is the mechanism of action and that was exactly asked in 2023 examination. Betaguline B for betaguline it's one of the ATP synthase inhibitor. 2023 FMG में था ये ATP synthase inhibitor, right? true about this agent now this is for neat pgn and ict same topic now see how the exam can twist the question has low volume distribution remember they always have a very high volume of distribution that is why even if you stop the drug the drug can be found in plasma for up to 4 to 5 months they have a highly effective tdr tb no they are not effective tdr tdr is total drug resistant tb they can be effective in mdr tb yes mdr tb use kar lo xdr tb use kar lo but not in xtdr tb not highly effective in tdr tb given throughout the course of therapy no it is given a uh, maximum around 24 week and usme bhi kaise dete hain for the first 2 week we are going to utilize 400 mg per day next 22 week we are going to utilize 200 mg thrice per week 
200 milligram thrice per week, right? So this was actually your uh, given. Uh, I mean, beta quinine. It can cause QT prolongation. Yes, it's a hepatotoxic drug, and it can definitely cause your QT prolongation, right? Beta quinine. There is one more drug by the name of your Della Manid. Its name is Manid. What is it? Manid. Manid. Ah, na. One more is Pretromanid. Manid and Manid. Now, why am I making M capital? Because Manid and Manid they are the mycolic acid synthesis inhibitor and they both are mycolic acid synthesis inhibitor they are actually sidal drug so be it betaquilin that is atp synthesis inhibitor it's also a sidal drug and your betaquilin delamanid they are also sidal drug which of the following is recently approved drug for diabetes mellitus diabetes mellitus ke liye dekhiye bahut sare drugs hain recently approved ki baat kar rahe hain so d2 agonist uh, bromo 15 has got approval colecevelam it's one of the bile acid sequestrant one of the resins they have also got approval for type 2 diabetes mellitus a and c bone remember we will never be using hydrochlorothiazide hydrochlorothiazide has been associated with your hyperglycemia so they cannot be utilized in diabetes we always try to avoid them in diabetes and a colecevelam now how bromocryptin is working exact mechanism is not known but they are telling that insulin resistance ke liye insulin resistance ke liye possible cause again possible cause exact cause is not exact uh, mechanism is not known insulin resistance is possibly possibly due to decrease in the dopamine so they are telling dopamine receptor agonist like d2 agonist d2 agonist that we are going to give they will decrease the insulin resistance they are decreasing the insulin resistance right now this was five mcqs for all of you guys in the 5 6 minute that we have discussed all the important topic are being discussed here please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next class